your daddy ain't going to be able to respond for you. You'll stand naked before God and have to give an account for your life. You'll be judged by those books. The Bible says that the last verdict, you won't be at the great white throne to find out if you're guilty. If you're there, you're already guilty. One of the most horrifying parts of Scripture to me is those words, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. I hear people screaming, go get my mama. She knows I was a good person. Go find my pastor. I went on mission trips. Go find my grandma. She used to pray with me when I was a kid. But your mama's faith and your grandma's faith and, you, and ain't your daddy's faith that's going to be on trial. It's yours. Why is it important we preach all this? Because there's coming a day when all of us will stand before God. And for us Christians, it ought to shoot alarms in our spirit that we need to be telling everybody we can Amen. that Jesus is coming back soon. Everything is pointing to the fact that Jesus is coming back. Time's short. And let's be honest, all we really got is God and each other. House is going to burn up. Cars are going to burn up. <laughs> God's given me a good wife and three little babies. And I got to thinking just the other day, since my kids were babies, I'd lay my hands on Becky's belly and I'd say, God, please save them at the earliest possible time. Why? Because I don't want to go to heaven without my babies. What's, what's eternity in heaven going to be without the people I love the most? And we as the people of God have got to take this more serious. Because all I can really take to heaven with me. Can't take my house. Can't take my car. Can't take my stuff. But maybe I can bring you with me. And if I can take Tucker and Siler and Everly, for all eternity, then praise God.